Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video shows you how to make um, memory pillows out of shirts, um, t-shirts or button down shirts. Um, I've been making these for quite a while and I thought I'd share with you my process uh, and maybe you could make some of your own. Um, these pillows are a great way to uh, preserve the memory of a loved one or a memory of um, your high school or whatever, you know, that, that you want to preserve uh, without having to just keep the shirts. You know, it, it gives you something that you can pass down to somebody else too. Um, so this is one of the ways that I do, uh, one of the memory items that I do on my, on my shop. And um, so I thought you might like to see how they're made and uh, maybe you can make some for yourself. Okay, so enjoy the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, I don't do a lot of videos. I do maybe one a week and um, you never know what it's gonna be about. For those of you looking for van videos, we have one upcoming on the um, taking out the interior of it uh, and starting on the construction. So uh, stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you enjoy this little sewing video and um, I'll catch you next time. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pillow. Um, it's a really great way to uh, share, you know, the clothing from a loved one that's passed uh, with your family members. You can, you know, a lot of people have me make these for the children or the grandchildren of the family member that has passed away. Um, it's just something special to hold on to. So it's a square pillow, it's 14 inches. And um, so what you do is you start with it, with the shirt, and you wanna cut the seams on the sides apart, and you wanna cut the sleeves off. So I use a scissors to um, cut the side seams, and then I use a rotary cutter just to cut the sleeves off, it's easier. Let's see. Those are my lovely new scissors that my husband got me last year from Germany. They will cut anything, but they're only allowed to cut fabric, so. Um, anyway. I should have picked a, a less busy fabric for this, but. you'll get the uh, gist of it anyway. So if you get to the end of this um, video and you like it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. That would really help me on YouTube. Um, okay, so I've separated it. So now you can see that we have one long piece of fabric, basically, okay? And the whole idea of this pillow form is to um, close up the hole where the neck is, basically. So then you have you definitely have one long piece of fabric. It happens to have a collar in the middle of it, but that's okay. So essentially, we're gonna make a um, an S pattern by pulling the shoulders up over onto the back. You see what I've done here, and I'm trying to find where the bottom of that S is, right there at the very front of the neck, and I want to keep scooching it down until I get it right at the neck right there see where my fingers are and then I want to flatten it out get it all straight so that's the idea for the pillow okay so on this pillow um, the customer wanted um, embroidery so here I'm marking the area that will show once the pillow is complete because that's the only area that I want to embroider. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove the label and then um, do embroidery in that area that I've marked off. 
So we're going to have some magic label removal here in, uh, in a second in uh, embroidery. <laughs> So now I want to unbutton it. If you're doing embroidery, you want to unbutton it completely. And um, then you can open it up and put it in your hoop and <clears throat> do your embroidery. So there we go. I want to take that label off. That label right there. That off. Poof, just like magic. All right, and then I'm going to put it in the hoop and stabilize it in the back. If you do embroidery, you know the rest of this of how to how to get your embroidery design on there. This is not an embroidery video, so uh, I'm not really going to dwell on that too much. Um, so I've done the embroidery now. Amazing how that how fast that is in video. Um, pull off the stabilizer off the back. Okay, so here's where putting the pillow comes together. If you're not doing embroidery, you would have skipped to this part, I would hope. Get rid of the chalk marks. Okay. Now you want to button it all back together. And now I'm, I'm straightening everything to make sure that I have it looking like it's going to look when the pillow is finished so that means it needs to be buttoned up and straight and uh, smoothed out okay so this is we're going to put it back into that s curve by stretch by putting the whole piece of fabric out there we go Okay, now the back of our embroidery is going to be hidden because it's going to fold over over the back. But on this shirt, you notice there's a pleat in the back that's on a lot of shirts. So what I usually do is I stitch a line across the back. See where my finger is? I just stitch that down so it doesn't um, cause any unnecessary pleats or anything, cause any problems. Okay, so... I'm going to get it back into that S curve that I showed you before. I'll show you what I mean by S curve here in a second. Um, there's a lot of smoothing that goes on with this. Okay, so I'm pulling up the natural shoulders up onto the back. Okay. And then just like I did before, I'm scooching it down. Now here's the S, okay. Let's see how it folds over to the right and then folds over again so I want to get that scooch down like we did before this is the important part there we go get it right there okay so you want to smooth it out make sure you get it all nice and smooth and you want that line you could feel it underneath. You want it to be straight across, not crooked. Okay. Then I'd usually use long, like quilter's pins. Um, I want to pin the neck in place. Okay. And then I pin that spot, that sweet spot that I found underneath where all the layers are together. All right. Then I want to take pins and pin the natural shoulders down, pin it to the back, and then I put a pin in the bottom of that S curve so that it just holds everything out of the way. So I, I'm pinning down the left shoulder here, or in this case I guess it would be the right shoulder, um, and then the other shoulder on the other side. 
pin that bottom part in place just so it doesn't get in the way and pin that shoulder down. Okay, then I flip out the collar because we're going to take this over to the machine and we're going to stitch. We're going to stitch down edge the edge stitch right here, just along that very edge, as close as you can get to the edge, to that point right there on the collar. And that's going to stitch the front to the back. And then you're going to pick up on the other side of the collar and stitch that shoulder down, edge stitching again, all the way to the outside. Then there's two more places that you're gonna that you're gonna want to stitch. You're going to stitch inside the collar, right there, which basically joins the two shoulders. And then you're going to stitch a little tack stitch right there at the neck. That keeps it all from flopping around and getting unruly. So those four places you want to stitch, the shoulders, the neck, and right at the front of the neck. Okay, then I'm pulling out my last two pins that were just holding things down. There. So now we have basically a piece of fabric with a collar in the middle. So I've edge stitched that. So it's all stitched down. See? Okay. So then I want to make sure and keep that it's buttoned down, um, the collar's buttoned together. Everything's buttoned down and where it should be. Okay. Then I'm going to take, put my finger underneath, and I'm going to fold the top of the pillow. This is straight across the top of the pillow. Now I like to scoot it down a little bit where the collar is not actually at the very top because um, then it, if it's at the very top it sticks out too much. So I kind of scoot it down a little bit. And I want to have that fold at the very top. That's the top of our pillow right there. Okay, Make sure it's good and smooth. And then I'm going to cut, this is a 15 inch ruler, um, so I'm going to cut it 14 inches. Now the pillow form that I'm putting in this is 14 inches, but in order to get it full looking, you really have to cut your fabric 14 inches and sew it down to about 13 and a half. Um, so I'm going to cut it, I have that pink on there to show me my center of the 14 inch. So I'm going to lay my ruler at the very top and cut the right side. You only get one shot at this so I'm being very careful. Making sure it's straight. And I'm going to cut that right side off. Okay. Then I'm going to turn my ruler around and I'm going to put that top corner in the 14 inch um, measurement both ways. So I'm going to have to scoot it to the right a little bit. There we go. And my pink uh, marker is in the middle again which it, where it should be. Like I said, this is a 15 inch ruler, so I'm having to take that inch into account. So then I'm going to cut the bottom and this side. And I don't recommend you try to cut like this. I've been doing this a long time, so I know how to do it. But um, yeah, take your time, get it cut straight. Okay, there's your pillow. That's what it's going to look like when it's finished. So, isn't that nice? So now we're going to open it back up, and because it's stitched together, it's going to stay flat. Yep. I'm going to fold the back over on top of the front, pin it all together, 
and stitch around the three sides. I use a quarter inch, usually, quarter to a half an inch um, seam allowance. And the wonderful thing about these pillows is that you can stitch all the way around because to get the in insert into the pillow, you just unbutton the front. It's awesome. So here I've got it stitched and I'm clipping off the corners, which is really not terribly necessary um, because you need that corner filled in anyway. They tend to be kind of pointed. And I leave that bulk stitched at the top. You could cut that stuff out, but I like it there because it, it makes the top of the pillow shoulders look like shoulders. So I like it like that. So sorry I didn't get the whole pillow in some of these um, parts of the video, but I was doing this and not watching the camera. Okay, so here's the insert. Pull it out, tear off the tag, hope you don't go to jail. Ah! Okay. So, to put it in, you just roll it up the pillow as tight as you can get it, like kind of like putting a sleeping bag away. Roll it up. Put it in. Smooth it out. Get the corners filled in as much as you can. Button it back up. And there you go. You have it. Pillow's done. I've never seen this method done anywhere else. So this is what I came up with a few years back. And this is how I do all of my customers' pillows that are done from shirts anyway. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see if, if you make some, put them in the comments, put pictures in the comments. Um, leave me a comment. If you need something explained further, I'd be happy to, to talk back to you on the comments and um, let's, let's talk, okay? Uh, watch it for the next video. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a t-shirt quilt uh, coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that. And then we have the van video coming up. So uh, until next time, keep sewing.